Welcome to CAD Concept. Today we will see top 20 tips and tricks. We will apply this practically in this complete project. So watch till the end. You will get very clear concept how you can practically apply these tips and tricks to speed up your work in very much possible way. To proceed this method, we will use YQRS plugin. So without wasting time, let's begin. Number 1. Door Window Schedule Table as you can see here, this number of floor plan we have. Typical floor plan, parking floor, ground floor, and roof floor. We have multiple floor plan. Okay. I want to make a complete schedule table in one time for doors and windows. As you can see here, serial numbers we have already. So whenever you make serial numbers, nomenclature for doors and windows make completely separate layer. Okay. So we are getting floor plan. With complete separate layers for doors and windows. Okay. I will take complete schedule table in one time. For this complete floor plan, I will take command MCB. Okay. And this on this layer, let this pick up and just click over the text which one you have created as a separate layer. Okay. Open to current floor. First select all ground floor, enter. After that, let this here, floor name. Okay. So we have this ground floor, okay. Simply update. And let this again open to current floor, select parking floor. So parking floor we have number of two parking floor. Same. So let this parking floor and floor number we'll keep two here. Okay. And let this update. Again, open to current floor. Select all your typical floor. Simply mention here typical floor. Okay. And floor number we have same number of 5. Okay. Simply update. Let this again. And select your roof floor. So, over the doors and windows, we have already text. So, that text will detect only. So, this is roof floor update. Okay. So, ground floor we have 1, parking floor 2, typical 5, roof 1. Okay. And just click here. As you can see here, you are getting complete doors, windows schedule in one time. Number 2, area statement. I want to take it out area statement for shop or flat apartment. We'll see here we have number of shops. Okay. I want to take it out inside complete area statement. I will take command MJ and come to here pick point. Okay. And just click inside the shop number one. As you can see here, we are getting complete area statement in a square meter. Let this here shop two. We are getting here. Let the shop 3 and just click inside. This is shop 4. So, complete we are getting number of 4 shops. When you final, just enter one time. After that, forgetting completely total area statement, you will get something like this. Number 3 block count. I want to list complete block in one time. For this complete floor plan, I will take command double B L, select your entire floor plan, enter. After that, just click one time where you want your complete table. So we are getting this much block. This is car, we are getting 25 nodes. This door types, we are getting number of 5. This door type, we are getting 1. So multiple door types, windows, block, whatever created will come something like this in one time. Number 4. Auto labeling. I want to provide auto label for this elevation. As you can see here, we have this elevation. Okay. So floor to floor, how we can provide in one time, we will see something like this. As you can see here, this level we have. Same, I want to provide. We will see. I will take command BG. So this is our zero zero level. Okay. 
and just click over the line. Before that, let this press O to get your initial level. So you are getting this 15 level starting from 0, 430, and here 750, 1110, 1450. So floor to floor, you are getting your auto level something like this 2130 2470 so you do not require to place manually this way you can very smoothly place floor to floor level something like this we are getting 3210 total height we'll see dimension as you can see here uh, from zero to top dimension 3210 and leveling also we are getting 3210 number five collect coordinate I want to collect complete coordinate for this plot. Okay, as you can see here, this plot we have four coordinates I want to collect in one time. I will take command double Z B, select curve vertex, okay, and select your close B line, enter. It got locked, and just click where you want your complete table with coordinates WCS X and WCS Y you are getting completely something like this. Number six, stair plan. We have number of two staircase. We'll see how we can place staircase plan in any shear wall in one time. As you can see here, this is space we have. I will place staircase. Let this LTJ command, okay, and come to here. Double trade, okay. Total height, total width, let this from here. And we are getting 250. Okay. Let everything same. We are getting story height 340. Okay. Landing width we have already provided 120. Step number we have 20. First will go 10 and second will go 10. Okay. So what you have to do just let this rotation. So we are getting 90 angle rotation okay and simply place with the call something here and let this mirror another side okay we are getting our complete stair plan something like this number seven auto elevator so we'll remove this one i will place here okay let this dtj command And take complete rectangle, click back side and front. You are getting your auto elevator. Same again, let this here, click back side and door width you can customize here. Let this 100 only and just click front. You are getting complete auto elevator in one time. Number 8 dynamic copy. As you can see here, this section we have. I want to provide dynamic copy. When you make section detail, you just have to make one only. So how you can simply provide complete dynamic copy for multiple flow. You will see very smoothly. So I will remove this all and one level select all. Let the CV command and provide any random area 340 straight value because floor to floor we have 340. So by dynamic copy, you can provide multiple floor for section detail. It is much better to array command. Number nine, hatch scale. I want to provide hatch scale randomly. Let this XTC command and select your corridor hatch as you can see here. Just by dragging, you can provide hatch scale something like this. Number ten. Hatch angle. I want to provide hatch angle. Simply, I will take command double H A and just click the hatch area. And you can place by dragging your hatch angle something like this. Same we'll see here also. Let this double H A command and just click over the hatch to drag. Simply, very smoothly you can provide. Hatch angle by double H A command. 
Number 11. Auto ducting spaces. This ducts we have. Okay. I want to provide cross mark. Simply let this KD command. Let this crossing line. Two points. Hash frame. Let this untick. Okay. And simply just okay. And take two points. One corner to another corner. Something like this. As you can see here. So very smoothly you can provide your cross mark something like this. Number 12 auto furniture layout. I want to provide this flat apartment auto furniture layout. Double J command. Let this select living room. Okay. And take complete rectangle. So you can provide auto furniture layout. By double J command. Let this bedroom. And take complete rectangle. And by dragging, you can place your style. Location for chair, cupboard. Let this double J command. Kitchen. Take complete rectangle. By pressing A, you can change your working area. Simply. Let this here also. Bathroom. Double J command. Select toilet. Take complete rectangle. And by pressing A, you can customize your suitable position something like this simply let this double j command take this bedroom and complete rectangle so you are getting something like this so very smoothly by double j command you can provide your auto furniture plan this part we are getting out so chest plan you can place by yg command Something like this. And this area I want to place dining table. Let this double J command select here dining room. Take rectangle. Something like this. We'll keep it here. Same let this bathroom here. Double J command. Select toilet. And take complete rectangle. Here we do not want bathtub. So by pressing B continue, you can remove bathtub. Something like this. You are getting floor tile also. If you want to remove floor tile, you can remove by pressing T. Number 13, section line. I want to provide section line. Let this SY3 command take straight one to another end. Enter. As you can see here, you are getting complete section line in one time. Number 14, auto wall fill. I want to fill this complete wall. We have two options to fill this complete entire wall. Simply let this hash command and come to here, setting. Select from here, other predefined solid hash. Select all, enter. Now let this layer on. You have two options by WWF command also you can fill your entire wall with solid hash. Number 15. Auto inner dimension. We want to provide wall to wall dimension for complete block. We'll see. I will take command double D double W and just provide by dragging only. As you can see here, you are getting X and Y your inner dimension wall to wall something like this number 16 find non ortho line let this bpx command select all enter so wherever your line not straight that will select automatically as you can see here we are getting this line not straight something like this so non straight line you can find out for complete flow plan in one time this is impossible to find one by one. So this is the best way to find out non-ortho line by BPX command. Number 17. And how to correct it? You will see these lines, how we can correct it. Let this X, G, Z command. I want to correct this side. So I will click opposite side. Same here also. I want to correct this side. I will click opposite side. Same here. I want to. Correct this side. I will click 
opposite side. Number 18. Wipe out. I want to remove some particular area with frame. I will take command BX and just take rectangle. So this area will be wipe out. As you can see here, I want to remove here also. So your solid hedge will be there and block will not be. And rest of the part smoothly you can wipe out by BX command. Number 19 Auto Elevation. I want to make complete four side elevation for this typical flow plan in one time. You will see. I will take command LM, drag rectangle 1 is to 4. It means we are getting four side. Here you can customize depending on your requirement. OK and take complete rectangle. So it got locked as you can see here. And just click one time to get your complete four side elevation. As you can see here, you are getting complete four side elevation wherever you are getting window wall to wall projection. You will get complete sill level, skirting height with complete dimension and part block also to match with Excel line. You will get complete four side elevation in one time. So very smoothly you can make complete four side elevation by LM command and you will get part plan also over the elevation. As you can see here you are getting complete four side elevation with complete auto dimension and window area projection sill level skirting in one time something like this. Number 20 batch printing. I want to print this complete number of six sheet as a PDF in one time. So let this BPT command. Drawing to PDF, select here paper size. Let this A2 and here select your folder where you want to save. Okay, as a PDF where you want to save, you can select from here. Let this PDF, okay. And simply come to here, pick block or layer name. This is very important. So this layer must be separate, okay. This rectangle must be separate layer. So it will detect that rectangle with separate layer only, okay. So we are getting a layer name print. Simply again let this select all, enter. As you can see here you are getting number of six sheets and serial numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It got locked. Enter and let this preview one time. It's okay. Start to plot from beginning. Number of six sheet, you will get something like this. So multiple printing solution by BPT command in a very much possible way. And it will save as PDF where you have located your folder. To proceed this method, must install YQRS plugin. I will add in the description, you can very smoothly download and you can proceed further. Must download YQR's ultimate guide. This book will help you a lot to understand deeply how to run these commands in AutoCAD. I hope you got this video helpful. Must like, share and subscribe. If you have anywhere any doubt, leave your comments. As soon as possible, I will reply your queries. Thanks for watching. See you in next video with another topic.